What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next, I've got a video that is covering a little bit different of a topic than what I normally cover in my videos. I got an email from Beckett where they have officially introduced their grading of manga. Now, it was teased back in December, but it seems like this is where we're actually getting a lot more details about this. And since there definitely is a crossover with comic collectors and manga collectors, manga readers, anime, I mean, I've got my Chainsaw Man, little figurine back there, and then I've got the uh, uh, Pochita Chainsaw Demon guy up there. So, I mean, something I'm interested in too. I thought that there might be enough crossover here that people might be interested in this. And I also am curious how this might translate into CGC as well, if there's any chance that they are considering grading this. And so let's check out the email. Let's check out the details from Beckett's website. Let's get into this. So before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So like I said, I received this email from Beckett. This isn't actually CBCS that is technically grading these. It's Beckett who owns CBCS. So it's almost like this is more like their card grading uh, subsidiary than the CBCS side. But in reality, they're, they're pretty close. You know, it's similar cases, that kind of thing. But the reason I thought that this might be interesting is because CGC is supposed to be coming out with pulp grading soon. And the cases that you would use for manga would be very similar to what you might use for pulps. And so I was thinking that this might be something that CGC might also cross over into, but Beckett is definitely uh, first on this one. So this is the email that I got. And you can see, you know, it's got Beckett here introducing to the collectibles industry for the very first time manga grading. And you can see right here, this is one of the things that caught my attention. Chainsaw Man right in the front. Uh, you've got things like One Piece. Um, but yeah, they they go over. Oh, and Free Ring. If you don't watch that show, if you're into anime, go check that out. I mean, like the best anime of the year. Absolutely love it. It is so good. Uh, but you know, they've got all kinds of little details here, some things with pricing, you know, $30 for standard service, 50 for express, very similar to what we see with comic grading for basically like modern comic grading. Uh, so the price point's going to be relatively similar there, but let's go check out the site for some more details because then you get a little better picture of what these are going to look like. And you can see at least right here that it's basically identical to comic grading, at least with the scale that they're using. Uh, it's going to go up to a 10 goes all the way down to a 0.1 to a 0.3, which Beckett or CBCS use versus CGC. CGC just goes down to a 0.5. Beckett does 0.1s uh, up to like 0.3s as well for incomplete and like coverless type books. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's just scroll down and take a look at this. You can see that it's really described very similar to what you see with comics. Uh, manga grading is the process of judging the condition and authenticity of manga publications from Dragon Ball Z and One Piece to Demon Slayer and beyond. The grading process examines physical characteristics of each volume to determine the appropriate grade for the condition of your manga. This uh, results in a numerical grade and page quality assessment that is indicated on the label. Now, this is where you can really see that this is different from what you normally get from CBCS. They have gone all out on the labels. Labels are pretty cool. I mean, so you've got what effectively, it's not totally custom labels, but they have label choices that you can pick from. And so you can see here, you've got the, uh, the Speed Lines label, uh, Horror Spiral, Cherry Blossoms, uh, Lily Pads, the uh, Red Bridge, and then Wisteria. So some really cool looking labels for these. I, I'm into that. I think that looks pretty good with this, especially because with manga, a lot of times you have like really bright, vibrant covers. And so this is something I feel like would go pretty, pretty well with that. Uh, then they, they talk about here, you know, the authentication that goes with it and then the actual encapsulation process. And so, like I said, I'm guessing they probably had to go through something relatively similar to what CGC went through with pulps because these tend to be much thicker than what you would have with comics. And so you're going to have to have a different style of case. You're going to have to have a different style of inner well so that you don't potentially damage the edges and, and that kind of thing with these thicker books. But if we keep going down to look at the uh, some of the other information they got, I mean, why degrade manga? Now, this is where it gets interesting because after I saw this article, I went and started just doing a little bit of looking on forums, that kind of thing. And 
feel like you're, you're getting a lot of what you get in the comic collecting community as well, where there is going to be a lot of pushback on the grading for manga. And uh, a lot of the collectors out there, you know, they go like, oh, you can't read it. You know, the same stuff you get with comics. And that's why I think this is pretty interesting because you get the people that say you can't read it, uh, that there's no reason to grade these things. It's just going to make everything more expensive, like the same type of arguments you see in comics. And so I expect to see that here. I also expect to see that with pulps when those are eventually officially released for grading as well. And uh, so it's just something that I think is interesting there because, I mean, here they use the same justification that you use for comics. Condition affects value of any collectible. Manga is no different. As manga enthusiasts, are, uh, we are passionate about offering our grading expertise to provide a third-party unbiased declaration of a product's condition. We believe that there has been an unjust absence of this service in the manga collecting community and would like to offer a solution. Now, if you read the different forums that are out there about this, you would think there's zero demand for it. So we're going to see how this actually turns out if we see a lot of these start to pop up, if there are going to be auctions with them, you know, if Heritage starts doing dedicated auctions that have graded manga in them and that, you know, all that kind of thing. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Now, when you're looking at the actual holder, the case, uh, just here's some different images of the, the style of the case. Here's the front. And here you can you know, you'll see Demon Slayer, also a great show. If you haven't checked that one out, Demon Slayer is great. Uh, then you've got the top here. So you, this is where you can really see how much thicker these cases are than what you're getting with something like comics. Uh, they might be leveraging something more like what they have for their, uh, maybe like their VHS type case. I, I don't know. I'm definitely not into the, the VHS stuff, but uh, this seems to be something where I could either see... Beckett start to grade pulps, maybe as a competitor to CGC, or like I said, I could see CGC leverage their pulp cases to grade manga. Then we've got you know the back here, and you can see it's got that big Beckett uh, name on the back, which is now on the new CBCS labels as well, and then the spine. And so here, this is where that tends to be really important with these thicker books, same things with pulps. Uh, the spine is where you're really going to experience a lot of damage depending on how much it was read. And so you want a really clear picture of that spine. And you can see it's, you know, it's thick, clear there. You can see a, uh, you know, a clear image of the spine of that, uh, of that book. So then we just, you know, we go down and, you know, they've got their little advertisements about why you would choose Beckett for this. But at least right now, I'm not aware of any other option. So if you do want to grade manga, this would be your option. And I would say it seemed like it got really hot maybe like last year. I started seeing more actual raw sales on places like Heritage than being sold on Instagram. Uh, and I feel like it's cooled off a little bit though, that the uh, that I'm not seeing quite the numbers that I was seeing before. So I don't know if that's going to pick up again or if that was just like a little bit of a, kind of a late comic boom type jump that we were seeing with those books. But there are definitely cases where I could see myself being interested in buying one of these graded books. Now, I really like anime, talked about that. Uh, I'm not really into the reading of the manga, but I could see it as something that would be cool to have in a case that I could you know, put up on a shelf or, or something like that. So I can see the appeal of it. I, I can see the appeal of it. And I could also see the competitor coming for this uh, out of CGC. You know, we'll see. Now, with CGC, you can see here that they still don't have pulps on their site. Uh, they've got all the different types of collectibles that they grade, you know, comics, cards, video games, movies, magazines, posters, lobby cards, uh, all that kind of stuff. But they don't have the pulps up here yet as one of their, their types of collectibles that they officially grade. Um, but if you want to see a little bit more about it, uh, one of the sponsors of this channel is Fanalytics, and they did a interview with Matt Nelson at CGC uh, during the, I believe this was during Collector Summit, and he goes over all the details on grading of the pulps and the cases and, and everything like that. Because pulps can be a little tricky because they uh, trimming is very common with them, and so he talks about how they are handling that with grading and, and all that. Now, pulps also have a very different traditional grading style, so adding the numbers to it is a... Is, uh, I know is something that is a little bit controversial with the more traditional pulp collectors. So something that's going to come out of that too. But yeah, I think that if I was CGC and I saw this, I would definitely be watching this to see how it does, to see if it really takes hold, if there are people that are you know really interested in getting these uh, these graded and actually collecting them, if the, the market grows on them, because it seems like that's a very easy transition. 
from pulps to manga for them. So uh, just something that I thought would be interesting to talk about. And yeah, I, I could see myself potentially buying one of these in the future. Uh, I think the labels look cool. I think it would look good with, you know, some type of just something where if it's a show I really liked, if I connected with, I could see myself buying something that's graded just so I could have it up on the on the shelf there. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. I don't know how many people that watch the channel are actually either manga readers or fans of anime, uh, but let me know. Is this something that you would ever plan on purchasing? Would you ever use this service? Uh, do you think CGC might try to move in on this uh, on this area as well? But if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more content like this, I've got more videos over here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Subscription button is right here, and I will see you in the next video.